member, my good friend, my idol, the late Miriam Defensor Santiago, she said that uh, law school is just, it's like a walk in the park. Yun nga lang daw po, parang Jurassic Park. The workload is really quite intense. Unlike college, for example, where I could just read a required reading for Philo right before the class, that's no longer the case for law school. So, pagod ka, puyat ka, stressed ka. Ubusan talaga. I heard that law school is really stressful. Is that true? And uh, what tips do you have for dealing with it? Yes, it's true. Um, law school is very stressful. Law school could be stressful. Yes, law school is a lot of stress. Law school is very stressful. Stressful talaga ang law school. Ito na yata yung pinaka-stressful sa lahat ng courses na meron. Because of the workload. And you're surrounded by extremely smart people. You'll be reading an average of 30 Supreme Court decisions every day, You'll be memorizing laws, almost every meeting, recitation. But for me, stress is a driving force that should motivate someone in conquering your ultimate dreams of becoming a lawyer. Stress is part of your journey to become lawyers. There are ways to deal with that. So I would advise you to take care of your physical and your mental health. You have to have a sense of balance. Law school is not only about law school. Spend time with your family and close friends. Breaks. Try to have fun. Not to think too much about it. Don't make it this really scary thing. Your life will revolve around law school, but it should not be the only thing. It's really about time management. Also, not to be too hard on yourself. Read for at least two hours for every unit of subject every week. If you have a three-unit subject, ang preparation mo in a week should be a minimum of six hours. Minimum. Right on your first day, you must know what to do. You should know what you want. Do you really want to become a lawyer? Because if your answer is yes, stress will be nothing. Therefore, I urge everyone to have a clear mindset. And maybe this is more personal to me. To imbibe that laban lang kind of attitude. Sometimes it's just about pushing yourself, having that inner focus, having that inner mantra to keep you going. That's it. You just have to find the proper sense of balance. It can get stressful, it can get toxic, but that's the reality of it. As long as you have that discipline, that grit, and that determination, you should be fine. It will take care of itself. So don't overthink it. It's not easy to become lawyers, but with hard work, preparation, mindset, positive attitude, perseverance, resiliency, there is no reason for you not to make your dreams a reality. What is it about law school that makes it different from college? What should I expect? There is indeed a big difference. I think everyone knows that the workload will really be different. In law school, you will encounter a lot of disappointments. That's normal. I think law school is less of an adventure as it was in college or university. Well, it's grad school, so the work is much harder. I like to think of it as a bridge between college and the real world or working life. College, course requirements are more lenient. You go to school, you prepare your thesis, you prepare your research papers, you work on your assignments, you recite, that's it. But in law school, my friends, indeed, it is more demanding. In college, you might have to read 100 pages for the entire semester for a subject. In law school, you might have to read 100 pages for a class of a, on a subject. You're expected to be a grown-up now. They won't accept excuses from you if you don't finish the work. It becomes a little bit more practical in that respect. You have more accountability than in high school and in college. More about adulting, about maturity, about learning how you can navigate the world as an adult. You should be prepared. You should know how to move on. You should know how to continue studying. So you really have to prepare yourselves. In law school, you try to test how well you recite. So that's something you have to be prepared for. It's the most stressful of all the courses. You should always remind yourself why you entered law school in the first place. Is it possible? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. Why? What your minds can perceive can always be achieved. The professor's really as strict as people make them seem. What are they like? No, absolutely not. Yes. Professors are really as strict as people make them seem. Even stricter. Not all law professors are strict, but most are. Well, not all, but there are some strict professors indeed. Well, they say that there are different strokes for different folks. You know, teachers are not all the same. My husband is actually a law professor. 
he is really liked by his students. The reality is um, you get a mixed bag. Most professors also practice. Most of them are just actually put up a front of being strict just to be credible, sad to say. Are there unreasonable props? There might be that one or two unreasonable props that you might encounter, but that, I wouldn't say that that's the general rule. But one thing is certain I told you, if your vision is clear, you will be motivated, regardless of the manner and how the instruction is given by the professor. Still, my friends, you will be able to hurdle the challenge. When I was at the Ateneo, I had the privilege of being taught by Father Bernas and Justice Esculin and Dean Santa Maria. But I also had these professors who I swear if they had taught in the United States, they would have been sued under Title IX a long time ago. But that doesn't mean that the professors don't care. We are strict because we care. It's not necessarily a bad thing. They appear to be strict because they want their students to take the law seriously. It's nothing personal. We care about how you guys are going to perform in the bar. We want to instill proper principles, values, and habits. I guess law school profs are just stricter in a different way because they're trying to prep you for the bar exams. They want you to pass the bar exams, hence them being strict about deadlines, requirements. No, it's not like we're being strict because you want to terror students. It's because we care enough and maybe too much for your careers, your lives, and the future of this country. There will always be a terror professor. That is part, again, of a law school journey. In fact, for me, I learned more from them. I was very afraid to enter the class, so I studied harder. I remember occasions wherein I stood up for more than three hours in law school. We recite while studying. That is not even the worst. That is only a normal law school life. There are strict professors. There are professors who are also lenient, so you just have to prepare yourself. It's really their personality. It's not something you know, that's universal for all law professors. What are your thoughts on study gaps? Should you work before law school? Work while in law school or just go straight into it? Some study gaps, I don't like it just because you want to have the momentum of if, if you have a choice, by the way. It depends on your circumstances and your needs. There are different circumstances, of course, among the students. It doesn't matter if you want to work before law school, if you want to just dive in. It, it really depends on you. Should you work during law school? If you need a job, to get through law school, then get a job. If you don't need to get a job, then that would help a lot and help you focus just on law school. You have to start early if you can. I finished law as a working student. I did it also. Is it possible? Yes. A number of my classmates didn't have a choice. They had to work. That's fine too. And in fact, that's, that, that, that's also good. And there are pros and cons of it. I wouldn't recommend it just because law school is already difficult. But you know, um, it has worked for some people and I've had blockmates who were working students and you know, they passed the bar exams. When I was in law school, I actually had a classmate who was a medical doctor and he was extremely smart, but he ended up not finishing law school because he just couldn't handle the workload. Remember my good friend who taught the bar examination, Janet Abuel in 1988? She was a working student. Our VLC top lecturer, of course, Karen Callen, was also a working student. Kenneth Manuel, the top six in the 2019 bar exam, a Villatis Law Center warrior, that means he reviewed the VLC, was also a working student. But he made it. Therefore, there is no prohibition for you to work. No one can stop you from working and topping the bar examination. But if you have a choice between taking a break and going straight to law school, I would go straight to law school for sure. Don't lose that momentum um, and go straight dive into it in my view. But of course, admittedly, it helps if you are a full-time student. What are some common misconceptions about law school? Is that law students have to memorize everything. They don't. They don't. Is that it's all about studying. Yes, it is about studying, but it's not all about studying. It's not as sexy, it's not as fun, it's not as, um, it's not like the movies. Law school is only reserved for the nerd. That law school is only for the rich people. I am not a nerd, but I made it my friends. Mahirap lang po ako. But I survived law school. I graduated with flying corners. Don't think of law school as this holy grail that is something that you should achieve or something that you should be scared of, right? What's important in law school is that the law student understands the law, is able to clearly communicate his or her understanding of that law. Not really memorization. Law school is where you will build friendships. Law school is where you will also discover the true nature and character of people. So it's not all about studying. It's actually a good way to build relationships. It's also a way of 
finding yourself because there are a lot of organizations in law school. A lot of chances for you guys to explore other non-academic skills. It's just a matter of time management. You have to give time for everything and for everyone. There should be a work-life balance. You know, there are so many ways to show our love and affection for other people without sacrificing our relationship with them. And if people love us, of course, definitely, they will understand that for the next four years, five years of our lives, we will focus in the meantime on our dream of becoming lawyers. Just don't expect law school to be as... Uh... To be like the movies. If you have that expectation already, law school will, will be less of a culture shock. In fact, I feel that I would have performed better in law school had I have of a practical approach to them, real world approach. I was thinking of it, I was too too much into the detail of what the, the various laws provide, the code, the, the, the thinking, the case law behind it. Um, I forget that law is this living and breathing thing that is that has evolved over the years which is based on common sense and on practice. So don't miss the forest for the trees. Don't be focused on the small, minute details that removes the context of what you're looking at. So one word, be more practical. You always have to give your, your best. During my time, I always tell myself, I should be the best person in every level of my life. You do something good now that would make your future selves proud of you. See you all in court. I will see you all in court. Maraming salamat po. Together, Weekend. Misconceptions about law school, but lawyers in general, and that is that we are all corrupt and that we're all dishonest. And I know that's not true, and you have to prove them wrong.